Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy and this is Kathy's Country Life. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Um, thank you for being here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for being here. Um, today is another Timu haul. Timu, Timu, I'm not really sure how you say that. But um, this was back to back orders. This is actually an order that I placed with my own money. It's not sponsored by Timu at all. So I thought that we would um, get to it. I'm in my upstairs guest bedroom today. My husband's downstairs getting geared up for the Super Bowl. So I thought we'd do a little privacy moment. Just me and you up here. Okay. Let's just see what all we got. Today is Sunday, of course, it's Super Bowl Sunday. We got up, we went to church. After church, we went to um, Aniston. The blood mobile was going to be there, and he was going, he needed to get some blood. So we went there, they're at the Walmart. Um, shopping center and I went into Walmart and picked up a few things. So, um, I will put the prices up on the screen of everything I got and I'll try to remember to link them down below. So, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to get all this stuff out. <clears throat> okay. First off, what is that you say? These are um, like kitchen scrubby pads. It's um, this is kind of like it's not really real metal. It it just is like a metal um, tinselly tinselly material with a scrubby pad on the back. It's cushy, and I got these. These are very cheap for a pack of. Ten. Pack of ten. I think they're three ninety nine. I'll put it up on the screen. But I got this to not only, you know, scrub dishes and stuff like that, but I also thought these would be good um, when I'm washing potatoes, carrots, you know, vegetables that's got root vegetables, especially that has dirt on them. I thought that this would be good to wash those. And there's ten of them, so That will come in handy. I don't really. This says kitchen, kitchen clip. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I know this off. I was trying to remember what I bought. Tongs. This is. I may have mentioned it in one of my other videos, but I wanted tongs with the silicone tips. Um, because, you know, some of my nonstick cookware and stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, this came with a set of two. You've got one bigger one and one smaller one. Let me hold these up side by side so you can see. One bigger, one smaller. And I got the Kathy. You pull it out to lock it, and you push it in to open it. Yay! Okay. That's junk. That's junk. Let's see. Okay. These, I ordered two of these, but they, one came in a box. It's an insulated cup. And then one didn't. Uh. There's one gray and then there's one purple. Gray for the hubs, purple for me. Let's open this bad boy up to see. <coughs> it's the aluminum stainless steel, no stainless steel. Insulated cups, you know, to keep your stuff hot or cold, which I'll be using this for coffee. We 
have the, um, we have so many of the bigger ones, the insulated cups, the stainless steel, um, insulated cups. We have too many of them. Um, but there's the bigger ones that I like to put my water and stuff like that in. And so, um, I thought this would be good for coffees, teas, to keep it warm while I'm sitting on the sofa, you know, Netflixing and chilling or something, or watching the Super Bowl tonight. So anyway, love these. These are great. Uh, it came, it was a two-pack of them, but one was in a box, one wasn't. Um, and these are stainless steel. I verified that on here. But one's gray and one's purple. Boy, girl. See my kitty cat over here? He thinks this is his bedroom. Okay, that's that. That's that. Okay. This, I'm trying to think of the reason why I ordered this. And I think I do know why I ordered this. But this is called a scrapbooking kit. I don't scrapbook. I've never scrapbooked. Even when it was big. But these are like vintage recipes. Um, so they got several. And then you have... One that says iced drinks. Um, <laughs> you can tell bridge, bridge party sandwiches, open sandwiches, sandwiches, fillings. Um, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Desserts. Anyway, I like the way that they look. Um, the paper, it's not real thin paper. It has that vintage look like it's came out of an old um, recipe book. I mean, and um, I'm probably going to modge podge these on something. Salads. Anyway, I just thought that they were so cute. I love vintage recipes. I love into recipes. Um, so I was going to do something arts and craftsy with these. Um, yeah, but frozen peanut butter salad. What? Frozen peanut butter salad? Never heard of frozen peanut butter salad. Frozen peanut butter salad. <laughs> we may have to cook some of these recipes that's on here. Now that would be kind of cool. My first to tackle would be the frozen peanut butter salad to see what the... Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. And then, I hope these turn out looking okay. I really like these. They're packaged well. very well okay these are can you see can you see it's a chicken you can really see when it's light my like my face behind it you can't really tell right here but you can tell I might like my face um that you can like put up oh there yeah there you go that you can put like up on a fence post a tree um but we've got our front of our yard, we've just recently, um, it's really not our yard, it's a big field, but we have fenced it in for pasture land. And so I thought coming down the driveway, having these up, going down, I thought that, that would be so cute. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Okay, that's a chicken. And it comes with the hardware. I got two or three of them. Oh no, oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all that after I show you this. I got two of them. <laughs> Hello, please. Oh. Let me 
go over here so you can see it. Look! Is that not cute? The little cow. That's so cute. I can't wait to hang these. I'll have to show y'all when I get them hung. <laughs> That's so cute. I knew they weren't going to be huge. I looked at the measurements, um, but they're a good size. Hmm, I like that. Okay, now this. <laughs> My downstairs half bath. I need to show it to y'all. It's kind of quirky. I've got farm animals in it. I've got a big, huge picture of a cow. And um, I got above the toilet a sign. I'm sure y'all seen it. It says, um, get neck noses. Um, it says, get naked. And then underneath it, it says, just kidding. This is a half bath. Don't make it awkward. And then I got this to go in there. That I'm gonna put by the toilet paper. Your butt napkins, my lady. <laughs> Is that not just adorable? Your butt. Oh, I can't say it in an English accent, but that's what I think of as in English. Your butt napkins, my lady. <laughs> Is that not cute? Oh gosh, I love that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I got some clothing items. I'm going to draw this again. You've been with me on my other Timu haul that I got. Um, they're a little bit too fitted for me. They run small. Like I said, I'm a large, extra large. Extra large, I know, is perfect. Um, okay, so this is a hoodie sweatshirt in pink. And it says, for the love of land and livestock. It is that polyester -y feeling. It's not that cotton sweatshirt. I always say it reminds me of Under Armour. How when Under Armour came out, first came out, and it still is. There's sweatshirts, how they're kind of slicky, polyester -y. That's what this reminds me of. However, it is very fleecy inside and soft. Okay, so that's that one. I'll try these on for you. And this is going to give it be a telltale on my age, but I'm not going to tell you which year, which one. But, womp, womp, womp. Can you see that? Made in the 70s. I was made in the 70s. Cute, same thing, not as polyester -y feeling as this one, but just a smidge. And then it's got the really soft inside. I got these in double X's. This one looks bigger than the pink one. Um, let's go see the tag. I know it's 100% polyester, but we're just going to tell you 100% polyester. That's just super cute. Okay, I'm going to try these two shirts on for y'all and see what we think. Okay, here's the pink one. Get back so you can see it. Fits very good. It's roomy. It's a little long. I've got on leggings, but I don't think I would wear this out. With leggings, I like it to be a little bit longer. But, got the kangaroo pocket. What do y'all think? I kind of like it. I don't like it. Okay, I love it. I love it. Does it show all my rolls back here? I like it. Okay. Now for the next one. I love this one. This one. I know. It looks too big. I like them big. Um. This one is more softer than this one. This one's a little thinner, I guess I should say, than this one. This one's thicker than this one. And I like the thinner. Especially since, 
you know, we'll be soon transitioning from winter and spring. Um, and we've had some spring days here already. But I do, I really, really like this. This is like comfort wear to me. This is what I wear around the house. This is what I, I'm in when I run to the grocery store um, to run errands. Um, this is me. It's really long, too. And, well, it's not going to draw up any because it's polyester, but I like this. I like that way. It, it's an, it fits oversized on me. And I like that. But don't get me wrong. I like this, too. And this will be worn, too. <clears throat> I needed to go ahead and wear this today because it's cold. But yes. Okay. Win-win on the clothing items. I love the other stuff that I got. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to take this one off. It's all wrinkly, but we're just staying at home. Uh, yes, I love it. Let me show y'all again. <laughs> it's oversized. I love it. But that's me. I love oversized shirts, oversized sweatshirts, and leggings. No, I'm not a fashionista. Um, I choose comfort over styles 90% of the time. So, anyway, thanks guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoy doing, doing them for you. I don't have another Timu haul um, in the works. Uh, I'm trying to stay. When you get the app, I mean, it's so easy for me at night to sit there and start scrolling. I'm like, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. And I am going to um, stay off the app for a little bit. I've already got a cart full of other stuff, but I'm not going to... Mm -mm. <laughs> no. So, anyway, if you're hesitant about using um, Timu ordering for them, give it a shot. I've got a discount code I'll put into the um, description box that you can get 30% off um, if you're a new user. That's what I did when I first started ordering. I used somebody's discount code and got 30% off my whole order. Um, and then they start, after you make your first order, they will start emailing you deals, coupons. You can, you can go on the app. The app's the way I do it. If you, I mean, if you're an app person, download the Timu app. Um, but you'll go, if you go on the app, they give you like this roulette spin thing and you can spin for additional coupons. I'm always getting emails with deals, lightning deals. Um, yeah, so... I urge you to try it um, and see what you think. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I love you guys. Um, if you haven't already, I urge you, I plead with you to hit subscribe. Um, but at least give me a thumbs up. Let me know that this material is something that you want to see more of. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.